Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting broadcast of Deep Cough and the Deep. I am your host, Jeremy Lopez, and I want to share with you just a couple of things today, if I could. Um, and that is the different ways how God speaks to us. And I'm going to tell you why, because God has been speaking to me on so many different levels recently about having uh, an ear to hear, but also having the body of Christ tuned in to the different ways God speaks to us. Now you might say, wow, God speaks to us different ways. Absolutely He does. And why is it so important that we hear Him on all we use the word frequency on all frequency waves. You know, it's that, it's that thing like when you're getting the car, for example, and you're tuning in on the old cars. You would tune in to the radio station, you know, and, and you have to tune in and adjust it because if you do it just right, you can catch one station. But if, you, but if you're off, you might get a mixture of different, you know, of uh, um, frequency waves of different radio stations sort of blending together to where it's all a mass of confusion. Do you not? And yet, each radio station requires you tuning into it to get as much clarity as you possibly can. And once again, that's more of the older cars, older generation. But the idea of what God is sharing with us is this, is there are different ways I want and I do speak to you. And it's not about just I want, but I do speak to you. And God wants to make us well-rounded to where we understand all the ways God speaks to us. Okay? Now, one of the one of the ways God speaks to us, and I'm going to make this sort of short and sweet if I can on this first point, one of the ways God speaks to us is through our own spirit man. Okay? The Bible says we know the voice of the Good Shepherd, but the Bible also says we are led by the Spirit of God, which means God will speak to you personally. Now, so many people's frustration I deal with in life coaching and dream interpretations in my courses is that thing of I can't hear God, Jeremy. I'm frustrated because I can't hear Him. And and I begin to analyze their life and I begin to show them that they are actually are hearing God because God always speaks to us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and maybe we don't always feel as if we have an ear to hear, and maybe we can't hear the words, but that's just the problem, is you're always too busy listening to the words of, the Lord says to you, son, daughter, go here. But you know what? God doesn't always do that. And when he's dealing, and here's why I say this to you. Sometimes God speaks to you as an individual through words. He does me a lot of times. But yet a lot of times God also speaks to me spirit to spirit, which means I don't have to hear him like out loud or maybe through someone else. And so because of that, God will bypass words and use, for example, a, 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 we can call intuition. We can call a gut level feeling. We can call a, I just felt led of the Lord to do this. I felt this nudging to, to just do this to you. Those are still words from the Lord. They're just coming to you in a non verbal format, a nonverbal way. Why? Because God, you have to understand, the Bible says God is spirit, and those who worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. So what does that mean? If God says, look, look, let me update you. I'm not a human, I'm a spirit. So the only way to worship me is in spirit and in truth. So see, so many people think what that means is let's just get in the anointing, lift our hands and shout and scream. That doesn't mean you're in the spirit, folks, because you have to remember the spirit man does things that the natural man doesn't always do. And so therefore, in order to worship God in spirit and in truth, you have to realize what God is saying here is worship me with a lifestyle experiential way of your spirit man. In other words, the treasure within your earthen vessel, how you have sort of built it up, you've built your spirit man up to understand God and His ways, knowing what, what God's Word says, then that leads you and guides you. And believe it or not, folks, that's God's way of speaking to you. And so if you think about it, your spirit man, through its experience of a lifestyle that you have catered in the sense of yielding to God, that's a great way to worship God. Because you can't truly say, well, I'm going to worship God in spirit right now. And then people say, well, if I get frustrated or mad in the middle of me worshiping, then I'm no longer in spirit. Let me explain something to you folks. You can never get out of spirit. Okay, You can never get out of spirit. You know why? Because you are a spirit having a human experience. Which means the only way to truly get out of spirit is kill your spirit man. And if you killed your spirit man, you'd be dead right now because the flesh can't survive without the spirit. And so you have to remember that it doesn't, it doesn't tune on and tune off that quick. You know, one moment I'm in the spirit, next moment I'm mad, I'm out of spirit. You can't do that. You're always in spirit because you are a spirit. You can't, get, you can't ever get away from the fact that you're spirit. And so when God says, worship me in spirit, 
spirit and in truth, that's an awakening process to show you and a revelation of, guess what? You are more spirit than you are human. And the more that you and how you worship me in spirit is getting to the fact of what I told you I am. If I said I am spirit, that means you have to awaken to the fact that you're spirit having human experience. And as a spirit, I want you to worship me in the awakening way, the awakened way in the sense of knowing I'm spirit, which means I live in the unlimited. I live in the realm of possibility. I live in the in the I can and not that I can't. I live in God. I live in the anointing constantly because I am spirit. That's where everything resides is in spirit. So when you worship God in spirit, that means that you are awakened to the true authentic you. And that's how you begin to worship God with your lifestyle because you're really awakened. Are you with me? A person who moves by the natural and is not awakened in the spirit to understand this process, that I'm more spirit than I am human, for those people who do not understand that, that means they walk by the flesh because of the simple fact of the matter that they're asleep to the fact that their spirit and their spirit man is the actual real them Vin's flesh, okay? And then it says, those who worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Now, how do you actually worship in truth? What does that mean? What does that really mean to worship? You can't worship through a, through a word called truth, can you? No. So what it means is the truth that sets you free is the word which is, which is supernatural. And so what it represents is God wants you to worship Him with your lifestyle, okay? With the life of living in the awakened identity of who you really are and yielding this life to Him. And so through that, guess what? God is saying you worship me in spirit and in truth which means it, it bypasses words, does it not? If you worship God in spirit, then spirit man doesn't always do words. We need words in the natural to talk to one another, do we not? But spirit doesn't need words. Think about it. Spirit doesn't need words, but the natural does. That's how it's created with oxygen and, and the atmosphere we live in to where you can understand me and I can understand you when I talk to you in the natural. Are you with me? So through that, guess what? God is letting you know that even the worship in the New Testament says worship from the heart. You know, And so if you think about it, God is saying, your worship to me is not always about words. It's about action. It's about deed. It's about, and it's about uh, yielding a lifestyle. You know, Paul said, pray without ceasing. Pray always. Let's just face it, folks. That's impossible. How on earth am I going to pray constantly? Unless, God is ref- unless Paul is referring to the fact that I should pray always by my lifestyle of awakening to the fact that I am spirit. And I yield my spirit constantly in that place of meditation, in the place of living and being in the in the spirit realm, okay? And guess what? Then you're praying without ceasing. You're living in the spirit realm by offering up everything you are in that in that sacrificial way of, of awakening of who you are in Him as a spirit man, okay? And so through all of that, guess what? It bypasses words, okay? So, Let's get back down now to where God speaks to us. So God will speak to you sometimes through words. A lot of times He does not. Okay? Now, that's why prophetic people like myself as a prophet, that's why we I speak to you and say, Thus saith the Lord. Why? Because therefore we understand as humans, you can relate to me if I just looked at you and said, I'm sending you subliminal messages of God speaking to you. You'd be like, You're crazy, Jeremy. I don't hear what you're saying. Because, see, we're created beings to be able to, to speak words and to, and to each other to where our natural ears can hear them. And then our spirit man can pick it up of what's really being said behind the words. Are you with me? And so there's different ways for God to speak to you. Through a, 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 through a, well, I like to use the word feeling, intuition, to where you're led by the spirit, which is God's way of talking to you in different ways. And so don't get frustrated if you don't hear God. Like, I don't hear God speaking to me inside. But yet, guess what? He's, he's speaking to you in a different way without words. Are you with me? And that's one of the most powerful ways that God leads us constantly or God talks to us. And then sometimes God talks to us. And then through prophets, we speak audible words so we can understand one another. Okay. Now another way I want to focus on for a couple of minutes in this broadcast is one that is extremely powerful that you and I need to get down in our spirit, ma'am. And that is, God showed me, according to the book of Acts, it, the Bible talks about, and it's taken from Joel, it says, In the last days I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Now then, listen to me for a moment. Another way God speaks to you is through the dream realm. Now, a lot of people say, Well, I don't dream. I'm not a dreamer. Not a big deal. And they, they just sort of dismiss it and go on. And they're, and, they're, and they're so caught up in maybe just hearing God in the other two ways I mentioned to you. Okay? But, here's the problem. God said, in the last days, this is how I'm going to talk to you. In the last days, I'm going to talk to you this way. 
Okay? Which means I'm going to talk to you through visions and I'm talking to you through dreams. Now, the reason why it's so vitally important, folks, that you get this third method, this third way of God speaking to you is first and foremost, A, it makes you well-rounded, does it not? To be able to hear God on all different levels on, in, in any way and anywhere you are in your life. Okay? Whether I'm awake or asleep, God's still speaking to me. Now, most people don't realize God says in the last days, this is how I'm going to speak to you. And so we have to be able to have an ear to hear and tune in to understanding what dreams are in order for God to truly speak to us. Because it's a, it's a known fact, a scientific fact, that we all dream every single night. You dream at least two to two to four times a night. Each dream is at least 20 seconds to maybe four or five minutes long. And so every night, guess what? You are dreaming every single night. You actually dream through your REM, your rapid eye movement. That's why, you know why you dream during that moment of, of REM? Because I believe personally it's affecting your the natural part of you because something supernatural is talking to you within your imagination, within your dream room. And I believe the REM state is basically means what your, what your eyes move like that back and forth is simply because I believe it affects the natural part of you. That's how much God wants to talk to you. And I tell people all the time, and my school of dreamology is one thing I teach about dreams. And if you think for a moment, you know what, I don't really dream, Jeremy. You do dream. The problem is we don't know how to tune in that thing like that frequency, we don't have to tune in to know what God is saying. And in my ministry, Identity Network actually is what it is today and, and, and everything that I built upon if I can use that terminology, is simply because I had a couple of dreams years and years and years ago. And through those dreams God revealed things to me. And if I didn't understand the symbolisms, the, numer- the numbers of the numer- numerology in it, the characters, the settings, the typologies, the, 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 um, the types and shadows, if I didn't understand that kind of stuff, the symbolisms, if I didn't understand that kind of stuff, I could have missed my appointed moment of God and, and never had this ministry, never be what I'm called to be and do what I'm called to do today. And that one dream set me free. Now guess what? That one dream of, of understanding can set you free as well. As a prophet, I not only prophesy, but I do dream interpretations every single day for people. And you can find that on my website to submit your dream as well. But here's the reality of it. I want each one of you to consider this, okay? Because God said, and He gave us some pointers here. He said, in the last day, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So where is the spirit being poured out? How is the spirit being poured out? How is he talking to us through visions and through dreams? And so we focus so much on prophecy, which is very, very powerful. We need that because it's 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 a now uh, thing. But we cannot avoid the fact that God says, I'm talking to you hard sayings. I'm giving you hard sayings. I'm giving you things that during the day you couldn't handle, but I'm giving it to you in such a deep symbolism, symbolic way, a very deep, um, deep call in a deep, I, I, you know, you could use that terminology in your dreams that you need to understand and figure out through an interpretation and through understanding what this represents because I'm going to give you a truth that will set you free. And so one of the main things I tell people is, you know what, you desperately need to go through the school of the, uh, dreamology so you can understand and we break down all the dreams in the, in the school. I literally break down all the dreams for you. I tell you everything from the character, characters, the settings, the numbers, the symbols, everything about a dream plus Check this out. I also bring forth something that God gave me through a visitation, and that is I I teach you how to set yourself up to prepare for supernatural dreams before you even sleep. Okay? And then plus, I tell you about what to do when you waken. The reason why, because what you behold, you produce. And one of the things you have to remember is your your spirit man in your mind is a database. And therefore, whatever it hears over and over and over again, it'll awaken that part of you. If you watch pornography, God knows, I hope you don't. If you watch pornography, it awakens the power of productivity in you to produce more of that. And you end up in in a, in, in a deeper, deeper bondage. The more that you get, get heed over, give over to God's Word, the more that gets in your spirit. It awakens that same thing to, in order to begin to produce in you and grow. And so guess what? You behold, whatever you behold, you produce more of and you become that thing. And so in the school, I've had more people say, Jeremy, I'm dreaming left and right and it's setting me free. I'm hearing truths that God, I believe, has been trying to tell me for so many years that I just couldn't hear. The reason why God gives us dreams, folks, is because in the natural we get so wrapped up and sucked up in everyday living. And guess what, folks? Did you know you can be so busy in your ministry, so busy praying, that yet God is still trying to speak to you something in your dreams, but you're too busy, let's say, talking out loud during the day, you're focusing on God in the sense of certain things you should be doing for God or whatever, that you can still miss the mark of God speaking to you? And so in
in our dreams, it bypasses the natural man because the natural man's asleep. And it awakens the, the, the imagination in us, the soul, the mind, will, and the emotions. And for God to be able to give us a download of something that's a truth that would set us free for life that we just could not hear during the day. So folks, you desperately need to hear God on this third level in your life. In order for you to be able to not just be well-rounded, but to hear God in, in every way He desires to talk to you. And I'm telling you, it'll set you free for life. I want to encourage you right now. Go to our website, identitynetwork.net. When you go there, in the search engine at the top, you can put in School of Dreamology. Now, that's a cool word we made up. A dream, a School of Dreamology. And you can and Dreamology is dream, O-L-O-G-Y, like ology. Like biology, School of Dreamology. Or you can just put in School of Dream. Dream, okay? School of Dream. And then press the search button. You'll pull it up, and you can order the digital download right now on a special introductory price for just $99.99. $99.99, folks, for the entire School of Dreamology, which includes uh, over 12 teaching modules that will take take you hours upon hours upon hours into in-depth teaching of me breaking down all this stuff for you. And then you're also going to receive a uh, a book of mine, which is an e-book, which is The Supernatural Power of Your Dreams, Opening the Portal of God of Your Dreams, powerful book. Plus, you will receive a DVD of me teaching you about about dreams as well. And then on top of that, I'm going to also throw in a full-length, instrumental, professional, prophetic uh, music CD, which is going to be MP3 digital downloads as well for you. Fully, $25 retail, another one free of charge for you. Because I want you to be able to to entertain this music in, in the sense of you playing it out loud, and it'll open up the dream realm before you go to sleep, okay? And so you're going to get all the teaching modules. You're going to get a book of mine. You're going to get a DVD, and you're going to get a, a CD, of, of a music CD. All of that as a digital download file, folks, for $99. This retails for over $250. So I want to encourage each one of you, go right now. Now, if you want to call the office to order it, do it. The number at the office is 205 362 71 That's 205-362-7133. When you call, just let them know. Just say, hey, you know what? I heard the broadcast, and Jeremy wanted to make sure that I get in on the the special introductory price for the School of Dreamology as a digital download course for only $99.99. And guess what, folks? You'll be one of those last day people that God is saying, hey, I'm speaking. Do you hear the way I'm speaking? And you'll be able to say, yes, Lord, I'm hearing the way that you said you would speak and pour out your spirit in the last days, which is through dreams. And you know what? God will give you hard sayings and he'll reveal things to you you've been asking for for so many years. Let me just prophetically tell you each one something real quick. Because God just dropped this in my spirit. So many of you right now in our listening audience, you have been waiting on answers. Have you not? You've been waiting. You've been praying. You've been asking God, Lord, give me an answer. Lord, give me an answer. Can I just tell you something prophetically God just showed me? That God is revealing your answers in your dreams. You just can't see it and hear it the way you're trying to perceive it. Are you with me? So listen. You want your answers? Listen to the other way God talks to you and you'll get the answer you're looking for. That means that God is trying to give you an answer that is above anything you've ever asked or thought. But He can reveal it to you in a picture format, in in a story format, within a dream that will give you what you want as your answer and it will set you free, folks. So I don't know who that's for right now, but prophetically I just felt so strong. God says, that's why. You got your answers, but they're coming in a dream form but you're not able to understand them or hear them because that part of you is closed off. So go right now. Get the School of Dreamology. It'll set you free for life. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.